Hey there, folks. How's it going? My name is Cypher. Um, this is day two of the Project Wingman stream. It's gonna be fucking great. Uh, at least it's not. At least it's not a Saw Horizon. I'm I'm real happy about that fact. Everybody hear hear the music pretty good. Let me check audio. Everybody hear hear the music pretty good. Check audio. Everybody hear hear the music. <laughs> Feedback loop go. <clears throat> so, uh, I think la I don't even fucking remember when, what we last left off on because we were fighting with the, we were fighting with Twitch all day yesterday. We were dropping like 65% of all of our frames, so, uh, that was real fucking great. The Twitch hamster, he needed his, uh, his running wheel greased. The Federation's interest in Cascadia has always been clear. It's as clear today as it was when we went into an association with them over half a century ago. Power. Our cordium deposits has made Cascadia an interest of the this is a very fun mission. perpetually. And because of that, we know exactly how to fight back. Even though we've lost many key territories as Federation forces land in country, we have a plan on how to cripple their advances and make them reevaluate their entire purpose here. Mercenary forces throughout Cascadia are being tasked to attack geothermal processing and storage facilities as the Allied main force maintains our front line. By striking these targets, the Federation will have to direct forces otherwise concentrated on the front line to defending these key resource points. Hitman team Sicario will be tasked to hit separate facilities in the Yellowstone Exclusion Zone. Your area of operation will be one of the main storage facilities along the Apodoc Fracture. Fly in, destroy as much of the facility as you can, and RTB before reinforcements respond en masse. It's suggested that you bring a well-rounded loadout on this one. Yeah. Once the Federation knows what we're doing, they're going to be retaliating hard. Okay, so for anybody who wasn't here for the first stream, um, the story in this game is basically uh, Yellowstone has erupted. All of the, uh, like, the fault lines on the planet have collapsed Tecto full tectonic plate collapse and it's caused basically a post-apocalypse and we're a mercenary force basically getting paid getting paid good shit to uh run around and do mercenary shit okay this mission is really fun i really like this mission and i've got to take the sk-25 for this um, as much as I want to take the guns, M lags are much better for this mission. And we're going to take some ASMs as well. Later on in the, as we get later on in the game, ASMs are going to be kind of like the meta because it saves you a lot of trouble. Also for anyone else who wasn't here, um... Anti-ship missiles are used against flying battleships, so think like, um, XBO from Ace Combat Zero. Okay, we got 36 M lag 2s, 48 M lags, 184 standard missiles, and 8 ASMs. <laughs> Your guns don't have a limited range, so you can actually, like, make kills doing shit like this. Yeah, see? I don't know. I haven't counted. I don't think it does, though, because Ace Combat 7 also has DLC planes now. Relax, comic. It's harder to create than it is to destroy Hitman 2. Good point. It's all lined up. Mm, I don't have a lock on. They're not refreshed yet. Shit. I'll go for some gun runs real quick. Ground unit knocked out. 
<laughs> hey, no need to be rude. No, I'm it's not Commander. It's not Captain Gaper. Mean. You're so mean to me. Oh shit. That's a lot. That's a lot of. That's a lot of angry, angry fire there. Every time I fly this aircraft, I'm like, is the game lagging? No, this aircraft is just really fucking slow. Like, this is as hard of a turn as I could put this thing into. <laughs> One thing that is different from this game versus Ace Combat, um, this game has a heavy, heavy focus on using your machine guns. Alright, so you see the flying battleships over there? Those would usually require a lot of work to kill. But uh, since we brought the since we brought the frog foot, watch this. Fighting those things is fucking annoying. This game does have an obsession with orange, though. Everything in this game is orange. Yeah, and this is this is why we bring the ASM for this mission. There's two of these battleships, and they take forever to kill, and you have to kill them. But you bring ASMs, you just dunk on them one good time, and that's it. Oop! Took a fucking black round. Also, this game makes gun runs feel real nice. <laughs> oh shit, that's a missile. That's like an understood agreement between every mercenary in every game or movie ever. Whoever earns the most gets to pay for drinks. Like every, every, every game or movie that involves mercenary is going to have somebody mention, oh, whoever wins top of the day gets to pay for drinks. I'm just starting to think mercenaries are all alcoholics. And now's the part where we get smacked by 7,000 missiles because we haven't been focusing on air attacks. Okay, we might have to switch to air for a second in our frog foot. Luckily, I don't suck at video games. Incoming missile, Jake. Or that's what I'll say. That's what I'll say for now. Come on. Stop that turn. Stop that turn. No, I think the rest of you is hit, too. <laughs> My radar's hit. No, no, it's the rest of you. The rest of you is that's the problem. Monarch, you've got a 
Ooh. That's what I'm saying, though, about uh, guns being more important than missiles at times. I think I got this. Said that already. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was some late flare use there. <laughs> that could have ended very badly. Alright, that should be this end cleaned up. Come here. Imagine flying an F. 16 and getting styled on by a fucking frog foot. Rule one of flying ground attack aircraft in this game. Just always be dumping your fucking flares. As soon as they're ready to dump, just dump them. <laughs> You kind of have to dogfight a little bit, otherwise you're going to get smoked. That should be a kill. There we go. Just wing those in there real good. Alright, let's get over here and finish the mission now. Flares are honestly too good in this game. That's okay. I'm gonna clear out some of these anti-air. Just uh, make my approach here easier. Hot. I can't lock onto it. Shit. I can do that. All right, we gotta kind of thread the needle through these tunnels. Oh yeah. Uh. We're flying over Yellowstone. Like, post-explosion Yellowstone. Alright, we gotta get to the extractor here. Alright, I should be able to bring that one in. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there you go. That missile's not gonna hit me. Alright, where's the other one? Die, you SOB. That's all my ass. Might be able to... Might need to dogfight a little bit again. I'm starting to get swarmed. That's a miss. No, no, no. He did something stupid. That was good. That was good for me. Drop. Pop flares. Alright, let's see where that entry is. right through there. There we go. Where's the last one? Over here. wonder if I can pop this container. Yep. Sure can. Alright, this is the hardest one because it's a very steep approach. Actually, I'm gonna work on these fighters a little bit. Because. I noticed. 
I'm gonna work on these spiders a little bit because uh, it's gonna make my life much easier if I kill a few of them. Oh boy. Let's see if I can outturn him. I can. No! Intake hazard. I don't know what the fuck that missile's doing. <laughs> Holy shit. He's going. Man, this is the most maneuverable F4 ever built. There we go, that should be a kill. Nope. That's a kill. That should be a kill. Nope, that was a total miss. Alright, alright, alright. I hit him twice. That means I need two more. Or maybe one, I'm not sure. I got him. I took a missile hit, that's fine. Alright, alright. Let's see if I can, uh... Let's see if I can snag this last one. Now that I've cleared a few of them off. And they've relaxed a little bit. This one's easy, actually. My my bad. All right, now we're gonna push for home, like hard as fuck. We're gonna start pushing for home as fast as we possibly fucking can. Oh shit! Here they come. low and try to go to terrain mask here. Maybe I can dodge these missiles. I could fight them, but not in a, not in a frog foot. We're getting the fuck out of here, boys. They're coming up behind me. No, there's an unlimited amount of flares in this game. Because you need them. <laughs> you actually need them. Especially, um, mercenary mode. Which I'm not playing right now because mercenary mode is actually fucking nuts. Like, this game is basically a bullet hell game on normal difficulty. This is hard difficulty, so it's a little bit more bullet hellish than the normal difficulty. On mercenary mode, it becomes a fucking Tohu game. We're getting the fuck out of here. Come on. This game has some issues where it likes to cut off right before someone finishes talking. Hitman team, your efforts in this operation was certainly commendable. Considering it was made by six people, though, like... Oh, hey, Paul. I didn't see you jump in. 
Peacekeeping squadrons are called in by the Federation to absolutely lock down a nation from the sky. They are usually made up of decorated pilots and Federation devotees. Additionally, Crimson Squadron is the peacekeeping squadron specifically made to watch Cascadia. Their leader, Crimson One, has become something of a poster boy for the Federation Air Force, and it's not without merit. He's what many consider to be the top ace in the world, and we can only hope that their arrival in the country doesn't disrupt further operations. Oh yeah, I'm sure case, that'll happen. Sicario strike against the geothermal facilities in the country, coinciding with similar efforts theater-wide, has hastened the Federation offensive, buying us time to reorganize and plan for the war forward. Let's not waste this. What you smoking? Oh man, there's some fucking ribs in the freezer I should uh, help my brother-in-law smoke. Monarch and Comic, you're the only mercenary pilots on base at the moment, so this is your mission effective immediately. A few hours ago, the remnants of Cascadia's Coast Guard was able to board and raid a Federation battleship which ran a little too close to Cascadia's northern coasts. They have promptly christened Ooh, it as ribeye. the Eminent Domain. The Eminent Domain is a new battleship used by the Federation Navy. Equipped with top-of-the-line armament and an electronic warfare suite, it stuffs most of the utility of an entire battle group into its hull. The Independence Force are deploying resupply and escort ships to them ASAP. However, they need air support. We have the means to repair it and gain intelligence from disseminating whatever info we can from its computers, but it is imperative that it is escorted to safe harbor first. Hitman, Easy enough. take off immediately. Dismissed. <laughs> Easy enough, he says. When I'm a mercenary, I still end up fishing. Come on, Monarch, let's go. We're going fishing. And nobody can see it right now because I don't have a webcam. But my sister's cat is sitting here in front of my computer, just staring at me. Like off the side of the computer, like staring at me. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's kind of fucking creepy. What are you looking at? Go away. <laughs> okay. Um. FCS 15. I'll pet it. I'll pet it. FS 15. Um. Let's go with the FS 15. Um. SAAs. Machine gun pods. And... Unguided bomb. No, no, wait. UGBS 3. Mmm. It's a sheet, but yeah. Let's let's go with flares rather than AOA limit, but we'll probably switch into the AOA limiter later on in the playthrough. Oh my god. I don't think that's even possible. Alright, galaxy getting on station. Oh, it feels good to be in an aircraft that can actually maneuver. Like, this thing is already turning faster, and I'm not even... I'm not even maneuvering in this yet. It's already better than the frog foot. Lancaster would gladly do so. Ow! Fuck, I didn't see that. Oh, that was bright. Alright, let's see. There's the AWACS bug eye. Okay, let's get up there after bug eye. Wow, 
clouds in this game are fucking aggressive, though. This is definitely hard difficulty. We've suddenly had a difficulty upturn. for ASMs, but I didn't think about it. We're going to try not to die. Wait, you helped make the afterburner mixing unit for the, for the F-15 active? I don't think you did. <laughs> did you work for fucking NASA? Caster wouldn't need to be asked to eat her ass. <laughs> Guns are the best weapons. The F-35 in this game would suck ass. Fuck me, that's a lot of real gunfire. should be most of the rail guns. I need machine guns. There we go. There we go. Right, roll back under. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can do with these unguided bombs. Have a bunch of bombs, motherfucker. Goodbye. Yeah, that's most of the real guns, I think, if not all of them. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.
I assume you meant that uh, the F-15C, though. I was just messing with you. Or the F-15E. Yeah, one, one of the F-15s. Man, I haven't slowed the fuck down this whole mission. There we go. Alright, incoming reinforcements now. Kill with the SAAs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Doubles, yeah, fuck yeah. That's a kill. That is a kill if I ever done seen one. Gotta get out of the cloud, they can't see shit. Give me doubles. Oh, I don't have. Oh, here it goes. Give me doubles. Give me doubles. There we go. Fuck yeah. Did he dodge that? No. Bad shot. This is $25, yes. And it goes on sale pretty often. It's also free on Xbox Game Pass. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna back off of this fight for a little bit and go focus on the cruisers. Here comes rail guns. No, no rail guns this time. <laughs> Cross in front of that guy so I can shoot him too. Hell yeah. A hit? There we go. You absolutely should. It is 100% like worth everything. Like, there are times I, I play this and I'm like, this isn't a fucking Ace Combat game. Give me that ass. There we go. Here come, here comes the rail gunfire. There we go. That should be killed. Oh, he is on us, isn't he? There he goes. Passed right in front of us. Okay. These SK-30s are aggressive. As the game goes on, too, they're gonna get more aggressive because, uh... They're gonna level up a lot. Alright, this should be my last bomb run. Now. And I missed half of them. Shit. We're gonna go in for a guns pass on this. Like I said, guns are the most effective weapon in this game. Oh no, I'm out of gun pods! Damn! That's not good. Still good on uh, normal machine guns though. Eek. Yeah, it's free on Game Pass. At least for a little while. 
but I would pay for it, like, unironically. It's worth the money. It's worth owning, in my opinion. Oh, shit! Clear for guns. Asshole rail guns. And they're only gonna get worse. That should be... That should be one to kill. These fucking railguns hurt, though. Like, they do as much damage as AA, but, like, they fire at the perfect angles to fuck with you. There is no FP. You haven't unlocked it yet. They're so calm about it, though. I, yeah, I would pay, I would probably pay 40 for this. It's 21 or so missions, and they're all about 20 to 30 minutes long each. Let's get a, fuck, a couple of fucking rounds in this guy. Oh, it's a Sam Cruiser. I don't have to worry about getting smacked by double A. This one's not a Sam Cruiser. Tracking. Well, it, this, it does have Cruiser. Uh, Sam's too. Oh, just cruiser. Yeah, I'd pay 40. Easy. Ah, shit, those are moving fast. They're coming below the crowd cloud cover? Ooh, they're a long way off. I really hope they come out with some DLC for this. I will be fair. I will be fair. It takes a lot less effort to make a good flight combat game, at least as far as like mechanics goes. Considering like Ace Combat has already done all the work for you, but it is still impressive that it's literally like six people involved with this whole game. Also, these cruise missiles are personally controlled by Obama himself, and they will dodge your up. Your shots, so uh Radar Come on, come on. Oh shit, I I locked onto a MIG instead of a cruise missile. Shit. Fun fact, they don't dodge machine guns. Anthem's not really a flight, like a flight arcade game, though, is it? It's like a, it's like a Destiny ripoff. Goodbye, Mig. I gotta get. I need to get out of these clouds. There we go. Normal missiles are basically a waste of time on these. I think I have one SAA left. I can't see because my HUD is blue and everything is blue. You can actually change that though, so I probably should.
Well, since we just finished the mission, I'm going to, uh, I am actually going to change it to, like, green. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's better. Also, didn't this game take like eight years to make? Or was it? Was it four? I don't remember. Don't remember. Don't remember. The eminent domain has made it to Allied waters safe and sound. Its repair and refit will ensure that we have the advantage near the coasts and at sea as long as it's afloat. Captain Woodward extends his regards and has forwarded you some items he has recovered from the former captain's quarters, most chiefly a bottle of whiskey. Stand by for your next sortie. You would think I would remember considering I like signed on to the project as soon as it started. I started like paying money for this shit. <laughs> One of the vast advantages that the Federation has over Cascadia is their absolute control and logistics. Probably the best mission in the whole game. The states that we can't even touch are pumping out equipment and supplies for them at a pace we'll never be able to match. However, they all have to get in the country somehow. The Federation supply train is one carried out mostly by air, now that the eminent domain is intercepting cargo ships coming into Federation ports. Civilian traffic has remained largely the same thanks to Wait. Federation communication protocols. The reality of this conflict has been kept hidden at courtesy of the Solana communication facility in the I-12 no, desert. No, this isn't the one I'm thinking this of this. is as follows. Sorry. Mercenary and allied pilots will be dispatched to various points along the airways, knocking out Federation logistics aircraft and grinding their resupply efforts to a halt. By striking in broad daylight, we can openly challenge the Federation when they think they're safe. Remember, it's imperative that no civilians are harmed in this operation, so engage carefully. Careful's my last name, and safety's my mom. Let's go, Monarch. I'd like to touch down before lunch. <laughs> safety's my mom. Yeah, that's true, too. People really complain about the... the thumbstick controls for this game. I don't... I don't see a big issue with it, honestly. It's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Can I take... Mm. See, now this is a hard choice. Do I want more SAAs, or do I want machine gun pods? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go with, uh... Can I buy a different aircraft? Um, SAAs, MGPs, I cannot afford these. SAA, MGP, SAA, MGP. I can't afford anything, shit. Okay, I guess I'll go with uh, MGPs, SAAs, empty. Let's go with a, um, let's change paint scheme, first of all, just to, just to switch it up some. Yeah, that one. Let's go with AOA limiter this time, instead of flares, because I think you fight some aces at the end of this mission. Yeah, this is the one where you're flying in civilian aircraft planes. There's no F-22 in this game, but there's the BX-23, which is like a, a totally not F-22, but with canards. Canards? Canards? Let's start, out, let's start out with a volley of SAAs here. Target convoys 
Let's go. So anybody who's wondering what the AOA limiter is, uh, I'll show you in just a second. This is what it does. It lets you just turn a lot tighter. And by that I mean a lot tighter. Very useful for late game. But I need to get back in the practice of actually using it. We gotta be very careful not to shoot down civilians on this mission. That's why I chose not to bring multi-lock. windows or do you mean close the shutters or something oh shit yeah you can see how that uh, AOA limiter might be useful later <laughs> Get after those transport planes. Come on. <laughs> LMAOA. Yeah, why did you do that? I specifically refused to do that. Alright, we don't need to waste SAAs on anything that can take two of them. Escorts are vectoring into engage. Blow past them and hit those transports, Hitman 1. Blow past them. I'm just gonna shoot their asses down. Yeah, dumping flares doesn't work against uh SAAs, unless you're in Ace Combat 7. Or Assault Horizon, I mean. This is in theory a, a like a equal fight, but in practice I'm kicking their asses. Whoa! Like to fucking crash my plane. No big deal. No, no use wasting it. my ass. You gonna hit that? Damn. The AI in this game is good. The, the friendly AI especially. <laughs> Long range yeets. Oh boy, that's a lot of bad guys. There we go. Go get them. Go get them, little guys. You're not helping me. AWAX Mosley. That's an interesting name for an AWAX. I can't see it. Don't worry about it. 
got it. I got it. Does any city ever name, has any city in video games or movies ever been called Prospero and not gotten absolutely fucked? We're gonna, <laughs> AWACS shortcaster. <laughs> dumb, dumb joke. Where am I, where are these guys? Wait, 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 wait. Where are these escorts over here? There they are. Missiles don't lock on so good from the front, boys. See if I can blast these CT 17s. Ooh, nice. Diplomat's actually doing his fucking job. I'll just back off of that one and let you have it. Guns, guns, guns. Ooh, shit. Did you not take care of that CT 17 over there? What's wrong with you? Literally almost dead. What's wrong with you? Dip. Oh, they are straight up. Look at that. They are straight up using the civilian aircraft as cover. That's rude. That's rude as hell. <laughs> I'm starting to think these Federation guys might be the bad guys. What the hell, man? Aim for the front plane, hit the back plane. Let's go. Hitman 1 within gun range. Let's see, can I get a couple of these F-14s off my ass? We've got a lock. Ooh, a little bit too far Not for that one, huh? Fire. Idiot. Fox one. This is locking on. Goodbye. All right, let's go finish this off. Ooh. Let's just use standard missiles and guns. You guys are late to possibly the most important thing that's happened in this entire war. Let's uh let's snag that FS15. Hey buddy. Yeah, good luck dodging that. <laughs> That's why you don't cobra in front of me, you little bitch. <laughs> Are you like fake German?
Goodbye. Okay. Now we just gotta deal with this thing. From a distance, of course. So this thing's fucking mean. Oh my god, that's a lot of missiles. the fastest I've ever done that air fight. I mean that ace fight. <laughs> very nice, very nice. All right. The Let's intercept see. operation was a success. Worldwide, news is breaking out about the Independence Force's calculated and precise presence on the international stage. No civilian casualties have been reported, and the Federation, while dealing with the disruption of their air train, have to contend with international response to the war. Uh-oh. Hitman 1, your flight was the most successful of these intercepts, and the Federation is currently scrambling to find alternative ways to maintain logistics. All right, let's check how long the stream's been running. An hour and six minutes. We can go for a little longer. Might as well, right? We'll do about two more missions. Monarch, this is an op just for you. You know I don't like admitting this, but mercenary pilots in this world are among some of the best. They get more air time, more time on target, than any of us national pilots outside of the periphery. In truth, you get the glamour we all thought fighter pilots were supposed to have when signing up to the Academy. That, you're making five times what I make in a year. I wonder if that's why you went private, but I don't think you're the type to give that answer. Not to me, anyway. What I'm trying to say is, you're capable, more capable than most, of getting this far in. And because of that, we need you on deck for a one-man mission. Easy enough. Cascadia's southeastern deserts hosts the Solana Communication Array. It was a Federation and Cascadian telecom venture meant to expand Cascadia's networking capability, regardless of any thermal interference that traditionally plagues long-range communications. With that facility, communications between various Federation units are streamlined, while limiting, jamming, and interrupting our own. Nothing to say of the censorship abilities that are used to enforce the civilian information flow. This is one of the Independence Force's top targets. However, it's been outside our strike range until now. Due to its distance from our front lines, no fuel can be wasted dodging or circumventing Federation anti-air systems en route. In short, we're sending you alone to clear up the most disruptive defense systems before we engage in a full-scale operation to knock out the facility. You will insert into the Keohord defense region in the Raver Mountains and take out all critical defense systems under cover of night. The defense system is calibrated for mass aerial strikes, but a lone aircraft flying relatively level with the mountains should be able to slip through and take them out. Dismissed. Seems easy enough. I think we'll be taking the frog foot again. A lot of ground targets in this mission. Probably regret that towards the second half of the mission. All right, we're gonna go with MLAG 2, MLAG, MLAG 2. Players, let's go with, uh, we have a darker, yeah, that's a good one. Let's go. Now I believe this is a classic, don't fly above the mountain range. This song has some Ace Combat 3 vibes. No, I'm pissed because I have to spend it with you two. 
Maintain radio silence, Hitman 1. We got four M lags and eight M lag twos. So uh, let's switch to standard M lags for this pass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go with uh, M lag twos. Ooh, C rounds are scary. Thirty-one down. Come on, get in that turn. Positive tone. That's a killed Mc Thirty-one right there. If I ever done seen one. I can't take another hit like that. No, you can't take another hit like that. You're literally dead. Find this up for a gunshot. Let's get over here and take out these, this little path, Ugh, this little group of enemies. Also, I was wrong. You do not have to stay below the mountain range. Tracking. Let the missiles get the, the brunt of it, and oh, never mind. It got all of it. Never mind. Thought I was gonna have to clean up after it because it was on the hill. Those are just helicopters. We're not going to fuck with those. Not worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go to MLAG 2s. Oh, Actually, this is a better approach. Let me let me snag these guys and then go in after those. Enemy doesn't even realize we're here yet. And I think that's hilarious. There we go. Swap to MLAG 2s. Go. Mm, yep, we're gonna have to clean up after it. Ooh, FC 15s now. Probably just fucking bored, my guy. I just like to blow shit up, my man. Let's get those MC 15s off of us. Fighting FC 15s in a frog foot is not easy. I'm gonna roll back under, speed myself up. I got a message from two and three. Putting it through. You lost without us yet, Monarch? Come on, we're just a static video call away. And hanging along with the mix sucks. Call flagged at the hands of his headman. 
Working on it. Six group. Let's get high up here it's and then drop it. That's a mercenary. Oh shit, there's a there's a flight of aircraft down there. I know I gotta fucking fly through the tunnel, right? Yeah! Fuck yeah! Through the tunnel! <laughs> oh shit, that's a long ass range, Sam! I didn't even get the lock on until it was already turned in towards me. Damn. I think there's another tunnel you can fly through. tunnels I've flown through in this game in the series, uh, well, this isn't technically part of the series, but all of the other optional tunnels I've flown through while streaming, I've crashed or fucking my, uh, controllers died. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You bet your ass I'm gonna do it. That missile is still coming for me over there. Damn, bro. Relax, relax. Pretty sure these tunnels are optional. I don't think you have to fly through them. Oh yeah, this is definitely optional. Let me actually... Actually, it's good. It's good. I'm about to get smacked by AA. I got smacked hard by that AA. Alright, let's go back and clear up the AA, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of aircraft up there. Oh, boy. Oh, I still got hit, even though I popped flares. Cool. What is this? What is this target aircraft over here? FC8. Okay, that's a. Enemy's getting radar locked. What are you doing here? Missile away, missile away. All right, let's see if I can get down in that tunnel again. Oh my God, that's a lot of fucking people. Is getting really fucking close. There's a crane there. Don't crash, dumbass.
It is frustratingly hard to see in this truck tunnel. Smacked by the triple A. Pull up, pull up, pull up. It didn't hit me. Cool. And there's a cat trying to sit on my keyboard. Please go away. Cayenne, go away. Oh shit. Why did it fire that many missiles? Oh, oh, okay. I see why it fired that many missiles. C Rams are fucking scary, my dude. And that last FC8. You're mine, boy. There we go. Alright, where's that last Sam? Ooh, don't hit that pole. I didn't even see it for a second there. That's. No, that's it. Run away! <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. Cat, you're about to piss me off. Go lay on the bed. Alright. I almost feel bad, Monarch, for making you come with us tomorrow to hit that communication facility. Especially after what you pulled off tonight, single-handedly. Though that was one hell of a thing you did. And I got a feeling Operation Blackout will lead you on point. Right? I didn't mean to skip that. We didn't miss much, though. There's nothing much I need to say to you, Sicario. Alright, I'm gonna make this the last mission of the day, boys and girls. Enough how important this strike is. That should put us right at two hours. The Ator Desert has hosted the Solana communication array for the greater part of the decade. It was a Federation project in country that was meant to boost and maintain the communications infrastructure of Cascadia. However, during the war, it has served as a jamming and communication facility. The very basis of a unified command structure is built on the pillars of communication. If we take out this facility, it'll be like yanking the rug out right from beneath their feet. The facility is heavily defended, hosting an airbase and a ground garrison on its own. The only way we're getting boots on the ground is via a mass airdrop, followed by relentless close air support from our fighter group until the entire place is overrun. It's as simple as that. Now normally, the Independence Force would be offering some assistance, but they can't afford that now. Under any other pretense, this is a suicide mission. Even with the air corridor Monarch cleared up, there's only enough fuel for a one-way trip. So the only way we're coming back is if we take the adjoining airbase after we hit the facility. I'm Expect trying to formulate air what aircraft assistance. I want to take this time. Pillboxes, tanks, AA, airships, the whole shebang. If we pull this off, well, let's just say we'll be handsomely rewarded. Gold or glory, gentlemen. Get to your planes. The Cascadians called this place the Devil's Sandbox. So what does that mean if we're the ones playing in it, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Fair enough. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a little bit multi-roll. Just a little multi-roll. So I don't think I'm going to bring this the frog foot this time. But I definitely still want something with ASM. Let's sell the FC-15, and let's grab, let's grab the Chimera. Let's, let's run with the Chimera for a little while. Um, all right, so we want one stack of ASMs. Let me get some SAAs. Let me get some MLAGs. I don't think we're going to be facing anything ace-like ace, ace -like and or ace-ish in this mission, so we'll run flares.
Let's do it. This is pretty cool aircraft. Total destruction of the enemy communication facilities are our prime objective for this operation. Go get them, boys. Cover circus and destroy any base defenses before they deliver the ground forces to the DZ. Now, I like when this game... I like when this game eases up and, like, uh... Let you have some fun, like in missions that aren't bright orange or dark. I wish I could say the same. Monarch, you're locked on. Okay, all flights. Looks like the early defenses aren't the only issue now. We have bogeys inbound from the north toward our transports. That means you, Hitman. Intercept and engage. Back on. Get some AS. Well, let's get some uh, SAAs out there. This is basically Operation Varsity for Ace Combat Zero. Go get them, little guys. Shit, they're behind me. This is the Chimera, yes. So Probably should have brought AOA limiter now that I'm seeing what we're fighting. That's okay. Ow, shit. We're probably gonna die in this mission. All circus flight elements remain on station until the airfield is ours. Guns of six and seven. Cover the circus until reassigned. Copy that galaxy. Hitman flight. You're being reassigned to airland battle. Search and destroy targets of opportunity at will. Secure the battle spaces or ground forces get set for the attack on the main facilities. Alright, let's see. We're free range now. That was a smooth transition there. Ah, uh, accordion containers. Let's see, do I have some lags? I do. We'll deal with the bunker. There we go. An FC-15 is coming up on our ass. These tanks are tough, man. It's almost like they're tanks or something. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> Don't call Dip's girlfriend an uh, alcoholic. 
Dip gets angry. my radical doing there that's fucking weird all right i should be able to mop this up real quick no way this is the end of the mission unless i really am just mopping things up that quick You see some stuff like this type of thing in this game. I don't think Project Wingman would leave such a long stretch of desert, just like totally untextured beyond the sand. Oh shit. Good thing we brought ASMs, huh? Can I shoot the... Can I shoot these things? No. Because unlike Ace Combat 4, we care about renewable energy. Longcaster never would have let those railguns power up. AWACS Longcaster would have come down here and punched the shit out of those railguns by himself. This mission's rough, man. as soon as I hit the fire button. Holy fuck! This is where the game starts to get hard, boys. We'll finish this mission, though. Not giving up because I got shot down. No checkpoints, though. It's just like the old Ace Combat games. I think this is the best aircraft with ASMs on it.
the only issue now. The enemy's inbound from the north toward our transports. That means you, Hitman. Intercept and engage. Back off, Galaxy. We're going, we're going. Now tired. Comic engaging. We're gonna try not to get smoked. Try not to get fucked up by these F 14s. Morning, return to combat area. Try to clear up some of these guys. Ah, shit! I'm gonna try to clear up some of these F-15s before we get shot down again. Y'all thought Ace Combat 7 had a lot of missile alerts. say you might actually survive this if you fly behind that mountain. But he did not. man. Like I said in the first stream, uh, it's a really good thing they provide you with three special weapons, because you really fucking need them. SK-27 out of here. the main ground forces. Thank you. 
and HVTs on the IFF. Have at it. Ow. Flash getting real fucking close, boys. I didn't realize that there were aircraft taking off on the airfield originally, so I didn't kill them before they took off and then they got up and started kicking my ass. The game gets 100% easier when you're not fighting fighters and the ground forces. take their airport like we're gonna use it now I think we did I think we're about to land at their fucking airport no all right pick up what you need to get out of here we can celebrate when we're back at Rose Dower oh I guess we technically did okay that's gonna do it for today guys this has been a lot of fun um roughly two hour stream not bad yeah, Chimera is kind of like an F-16XL with like a SU-30, SU-57 type deal. Pretty neat. I like it. It's been a lot of fun. Glad you guys could show up. We'll be back probably tomorrow or the next day, depending on how Twitch is doing. Um, yesterday, I was dropping like 65% of frames, and I have no idea what was happening. Kind of sucked. I was really feeling like playing the game yesterday. Wasn't quite feeling it today, but I, I got over myself. I'll be fine. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and that'll be it for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day.